Hi everybody, I am very happy to get connected with you all through this educational video. Today we are going to discuss about the torsion in gastropods. So we are all familiar with the phylum mollusk and in the phylum mollusca gastropoda is found and gastropoda are very unique group of organisms. The word gastropoda means gastro meaning stomach, poda means feet or food. So the organisms move with the help of the stomach. That is uh, the food or the legs are they are stomach. Hence the group of organisms are named as gastropoda. So in this gastropod group of organism a very unique feature or a very characteristic feature is this torsion. So what is this torsion? Torsion and coiling is completely different. Don't get confused between the torsion and coiling. So this uh, picture, I have shown a picture here for torsion and for coiling. So with the help of this uh, small image, you can differentiate what is torsion and what is coiling is. So let us see about the torsion or twisting. So what is this uh, torsion in mollusk? It is a process during the larval development. We have two different stages of larval development in the gastropod, especially the trochophore larva and the veliger larva. So during this larval development of gastropods, they rotate the visceropallium anticlockwise through 180 degree from its initial position. The visceropallium will be in the initial position and from that it is going to get rotated for about 180 degree in the anticlockwise direction. So that what happens is the mantle cavity with its pallial complex is brought in front of the body especially in the adult. This process happens in the larval development and when the animal is going to become the adult, the pallial complex is brought in front of the body. So for that process, this torsion is taking place during the larval development. I hope you all understood till this point. So coiling is entirely different. Torsion and coiling are completely different process. Coiling is achieved by more rapid growth of one side of the visceral mass than the other. So one side of the visceral mass will be growing in a rapid way when compared to that of other. And therefore uh, these two that is the torsion and coiling are separate evolutionary events. Torsion was much more drastic event than the spiraling of the shell. The shell is going to become the spiraling or the coiling. And uh, this torsion is very, very much important than the coiling. So, how this torsion is going to occur? So, let us see in depth. So, before the torsion happens, that is in the larval stage, the larva is quite symmetrical. So, we know what is symmetry. We would have learned in our earlier uh, classes what does symmetry mean. So, the larva is quite symmetrical and the mantle cavity faces backwards and downwards. Elementary canal is straight and anus opens posteriorly in the middle line. So, all these things are before the torsion. Okay, before the torsion, how the mouth, how the anus, how the mantle cavity is placed. So, that only we are seeing here. So, how everything is uh, placed, the mantle cavity phases backwards and downwards, alimentary canal is straight and anus opens posteriorly in the middle line. A ventral flexure of the body results in looping of alimentary canal. So, what is this looping? So, looping literally means a U-shaped portion of the alimentary canal. That is only called as a looping of elementary canal. So here what happens is looping of elementary canal and approximation of mouth and anus, shell and visceral mass, 
originally all these things are saws a shape so during the torsion what happens is it first becomes to cone shaped the saws a shaped structure becomes cone shaped and later spirally coiled later what happens it is spirally getting coiled so the shell lies dorsally and forms a coil on the anterior side shell is uh, going to lie on the dorsal side and it is forming a coil on the anterior side such a shell is called as exogastric shell so this is how the torsion is taking place so this is how the mechanism of torsion takes place in the 48 hour larva okay during the larval stage that is the veliger larva during the veliger larva when it is at 48 hours the process begins or the mechanism of torsion begins and this uh, torsion has five successive stages in the development so how it is going to happen so let us see with the images uh, how uh, the torsion is going to take place so during the early veliger or a pre-torsional stage in the lateral view so how it is going to take place then next comes the larva with ventral flexure and an exogastric shell which is uh, being shown in the lateral view in the image also hope you can see this B image and this B image shows the uh, larva with ventral flexure we already spoke right exogastric shell the shell will be on the anterior position so that we call as exogastric and here it is displayed in the lateral view and next to the C displays the stage showing 90 degree of lateral anticlockwise torsion so totally we said 180 degree of rotation will be taking place anticlockwise so here the C image displays 90 degree of anticlockwise rotation so here you can see how the um, intestine is getting rotated when compared to that of the B image or when compared to that of the A, B here C in the 90 degree rotation how it is being shifted so hope it is clear and then in that itself you can see shell becomes endogastric and mantle cavity and anus move right side so here you can see the mantle cavity and the anus is moving towards the right side can you see the anus is moving towards the right side yes so this is being displayed in the C image and next comes the D the D image shows you very clearly the another 90 degree another 90 degree of anticlockwise rotation so this uh, shows the posterior view of the image and the last one is adult stage with the complete 180 degree torsion and uh, this image is given in the lateral view so you can see uh, the mouth placed where the mouth is located and you can see the anteriorly located shell see the looping of the intestine I said no U shaped intestine that is only we call as uh, looping of intestine so here the looping of intestine take place and see the parallel cavity and the anus is located so thus in the adult when the organism is completely getting changed to the adult it gives you the 180 degree of torsion rotation and the organism is having a different posture it is giving a different posture so generally a growth of right side becomes retarded so that the mantle cavity and pallial complex gradually pass around to the right side so we will be thinking how the thing will be getting placed in the right side so generally what happens is the growth of the right side will be retarded so that the mantle cavity and the uh, pallial complex gradually will be fixed to the right side and so to the anterior side on account of greater growth of the visceral sac towards the left okay so left side will be uh, rapidly growing it will be having a, a rapid growth or uh, um, how to say greater growth 
when compared to that of the right side because right side is getting retarded growth generally the growth of the right side is retarded so that the mantle cavity and the pallial complex gradually pass around to the right side easily they can go round when it is retarded only they can go round easily the rotation during the 180 degree rotation it can go around and so to the anterior side then um, it will be having a greater growth of the visceral sac towards the left side but the whole process completes the whole process is getting completed in two or three minutes especially in acme ea species so in mollusk we have humpty number of species like a pyloglobosa acmania etc so here we are talking about this entire process is getting completed in two or three minutes in acmania so that it cannot be regarded due to differential growth so otherwise what what uh, we will be thinking it is due to the differential growth same time in the contrary it is due to the muscular contraction the muscles are getting contracted and actual mechanism of torsion is supposed to be the asymmetrical position and pull of the larval retractor muscles so how this uh, 180 degree or 90 degree rotation is taking place is because of the larval retractor muscles we have seen five different steps how the 90 degree rotation is taking place how it is finally achieved to the adult everything we saw but how all these things are happening is because of the contraction of muscle especially in the larva the larval muscles are getting contracted is it clear retractor muscles larval retractor muscles running from the velar lobes to the shell so once again I clearly explain you the actual mechanism of torsion is supposed to be asymmetrical. I already explained that before the torsion the larva will be in the symmetrical condition. Once the torsion takes place it is asymmetrical. So this asymmetrical position is supposed to be due to the pull of the larval retractor muscles in the larva they have the retractor muscle which is running from the velar lobes to the shell region so these muscles will be pulled okay and they are present only on the right side there being no related muscles on the left side because of that only right side is having a retarded growth or right side is getting pulled same way contraction of a larval retractor muscle brings about rotation or torsion so when the uh, right side is contracted right side of the velar lobe muscles are contracted retracted the rotation or torsion is taking place only narrow neck neck of the larva is actually twisted narrow neck region of the larva is getting twisted consequently everything between the head and the anus undergoes an anticlockwise rotation or torsion through an angle of 180 degree around a vertical axis parsing in a dorsoventral direction so i'm uh, i hope you people clearly understood what i'm trying to convey is torsion is taking place due to 180 degree of rotation and this rotation is because of the muscles retractor muscles present in the larva veliger larva till this point hope you all are clear and this retractor muscle is getting pulled towards the right side so when it is getting pulled towards the right side the torsion takes place or um, what we can say the rotation takes place so everything between the head and the anus so all the organs are present between the head and the anus region so all these things are getting twisted okay through an angle of 180 degree around a vertical axis passing in a dorsal ventral direction hope it is very very clear and based on this thomson thomson is a scientist and he studied the torsion in mollusk or in gastropod very carefully in the year 1958 
and he recognized five important ways in which the torsion can be brought about. So out of that the first one is complete or 180 degree rotation is achieved by muscle contraction alone. Only because of muscle contraction the 180 degree rotation is taking place and this is uh, going to happen or this happened only for Acmeia species which is found in Archaea gastropoda. This group of organism is found in Archaea gastropoda. Okay, this is the first point or first way he says. And the second one is 180 degree rotation is achieved in two stages. As we already said, 90 degree will be uh, split into 90 plus 90. So, 90 degree movement by contraction of larval retractor muscle and the later a slower 90 degree rotation by differential growth. The mesodermal cells, uh, the region will be growing and the cell growth, differential growth is going to give another 90 degree rotation. And it is very very commonest mechanism which is known till today. Okay, and this happens till today in a few organisms like Haliotis, Patella, etc. Then the third way is 180 degree of rotation by differential growth processes alone, not by the contraction of muscle, not by the retractor muscle, larval retractor muscle or the differential growth, nothing. The whole 180 degree process rotation is happening only by the differential growth process. And this takes place only in Vivapara. Vivapara is a group of organism or a species. In that only because of differential growth the torsion takes place. So three steps we have completed. Three important ways recognized. Thomson sir, he recognized five important ways. Out of that three we have seen. First one is by the retraction, uh, muscle contraction alone which takes place in Atmaya and the second one is 180 degree in two stages 90 plus 90 90 by contraction of larval retractor muscle and another 90 by the differential growth and the third step is in complete 180 degree rotation by differential growth process now the fourth one is rotation by differential growth process with the ants come into a position appropriate to adult state the anus will be coming to a position appropriately to the adult state. And for this example is Aplesia. Aplesia species, this type of rotation will be taking place. Okay. And torsion, no longer recognizable as a movement of viscerophallium. The organs in post-torsional position from their first appearance. This is the fifth one. And this takes place in Adelaria, Adelaria species. Torsion no longer is recognizable. In this uh, species, torsion is no longer recognized. There is no viscerophallium movement. The organs in post-torsional position from their first appearance. How far the first appearance is they till the last, the same is going to be seen. So, this is uh, happening in Adelaria organism. So, hope it is very very clear for you all that how a scientist Th Thompson clearly studied in 1958 to say how the torsion can be brought about in five distinguishing ways. Hope uh, it was very very clear and what is the significance? Why this torsion is taking place? What is the significance of this torsion? Why we are talking about this? Yeah, it is the fundamental feature of gastropods and represents their greatest departure from the primitive molluscan plan. Mollusks are very, very wonderful group of organisms. You know, uh, really students, invertebrate group of organisms are a natural gift numerous number of organisms are there and the marine is decorated 
with humpty number of organism like mollusk so there are two rather different views on torsion one put forward by garsten in 1928 and he confines itself largely to a discussion on the advantages of torsion to the larval mollusk and the another one is by morton in 1958 he convinces us the value of torsion to the adult gastropod not merely to the larva might be the adult is benefited due to the torsion but not the larva so usually what is the significance of this larval stages is that is a separate uh, significance we can speak but uh, adding cherry on the ice a few points i can say if you if we want to survive in a particular place definitely uh, we want to see how the place is whether it is suitable for us or not just to check how far the place is getting acclimatized for us for that purpose only the larval stages are given for the invertebrate organisms just to see Uh, whether the adult can survive there or any other change is required like metamorphosis or any any changes if anything is required any other organs are required it will be added in the next stage of the larva four larval stages or three larval stages and then comes the adult so whatever is required one by one uh, the larva will be added okay so it is in uh, add addition survival fitness for the adult organism so in brief we can say two views according to the significance one is the anterior location of the mantle cavity in the larva resulted in greater protection for the head and its associated parts by providing them with a cavity into which first they and then the food could be withdrawn at the approach of danger with the posterior mantle cavity it would be a case of food first vital head structures lost okay while the withdrawing of the vulnerable organs into the shell would offer the larva no protection against the large predatory fish it would protect them against their known main enemies the predatory planktonic animals so morton holds the view that because the mantle cavity is such an important and dominating feature of mollusk its position may be just an important to the adult as to the larva but that its advantage in an anterior position may be quite different for the adult and for the larva so these are the main uh, advantages what we will be talking about the torsion why the torsion is important so when it is going to face any danger it can retract the vital organs inside so for that purpose it is being discussed by garsting and uh, morton these two scientists discuss about the significance hope uh, this uh, video fetches you a good understanding about the torsion in gastropods so here i have given a few quiz questions and kindly once you listen this video completely definitely you can answer this quiz questions also so try to answer this also and definitely we will meet with a good content for the next video thank you and meet you all soon